So there is often uh, this conversation about um, Nigerian writers who reside abroad and those uh, whose primary location is in Nigeria. Um, and I see this as a false dichotomy. I think that um, unless a writer has not set foot in Nigeria for decades, um, I think that writers who, whether they reside in Nigeria or for now abroad, uh, have a shared experience of the same country. Uh, and the, uh, the presence, in fact, of the internet makes this uh, shared experience even more vivid. Um, so, uh, so when we talk about Nigerian literature, um, I don't think it's useful at all to begin to separate along lines of those uh, of my uh, colleagues who live in the country and those of us who live outside of the country. Um, I think that a more useful way to look at Nigeria is that there are some Nigerian writers who have a more sympathetic um, uh, sensibility of their country and those who have a somewhat alienated sensibility. I also think that uh, quite honestly, there are those who write good books and those uh, could, whose books are, you know, uh, either merely competent or perhaps even uh, mediocre. Um, so that, that for me is a useful way to, to look at writers, you know. Um, and there are writers who are writing out of Nigeria uh, whose vision, whose craftsmanship, um, whose... Um, attitude to the, to the work is exemplary and uh, there are you know those in the diaspora so to say uh, who also exemplify the same attributes um, so that tension uh, I think we must reject because it's also the same kind of tension that we find um, even outside of writing um, there's a sense in which uh, sometimes Nigerians who live uh, in the country feel that those of us who live outside of the country do not participate deeply enough in the life of Nigeria. And so when you talk about uh, perhaps the things that are not working in our country, uh, often you get uh, a pushback from those of our um, uh, fellow citizens who live in the country. Uh, and part of the phraseology they use is to say that um, um, you are not on ground, uh, whatever that means. And uh, my response is that sometimes if you live abroad, you are more on ground than those Nigerians uh, who reside uh, within the country. Um, at any rate, our emotional investment uh, in the country is what counts. Um, and I know that there are lots of us who live outside of the country who are um, very emotionally uh, engaged with the affairs of Nigeria. For 18 years, for example, I wrote a weekly column that was um, published by several Nigerian uh, newspapers and was widely syndicated online. Uh, in order to wrote, write those columns, I had to a visit Nigeria, you know, fairly frequently, two, three times, sometimes four times a year. Um, I had to uh, go to different parts of Nigeria. I was constantly on the phone with uh, Nigerians uh, at all different levels, uh, those who were policymakers as well as those who were analysts of policy. And so um, I read uh, numerous uh, Nigerian newspapers online on a daily basis. So um, I actually prided myself uh, in having perhaps a more rounded, uh, a more penetrating insight into, uh, into the country Nigeria than a lot of my contemporaries who are based in the country. Um, so again, I think that we should just um, uh, absolutely reject this whole notion of um, writers in the diaspora and those at home. Um, uh, in, the, in the end, a work of literature 
uh, rises or falls not uh, based on the location essentially of the writer but based on the acuity of vision uh, that a writer brings to his or her work and I think that there are writers based in Nigeria whose books are set in Nigeria who are doing extraordinary work and the same can be, the same uh, claim can be made for some of us who uh, make our primary home outside of the country so you know those are I think um, my um, my sense of, of that question Thank you.